Hi, Marius. Uh, just a very quick question. Well, or two questions. Litchi, looking at it from a technical perspective, um, Litchi on the charts, um, with this spike that you're predicting uh, Litecoin to have, this would literally uh, involve it literally breaking the 50, which is on a down, the 50 moving average, which is on a downtrend, the 200 spiking up to 100 plus, and then literally breaking literally the moving averages back down again. I mean, I mean, technically speaking, that doesn't, that very, very ever really does that happen. And the statistical chances of that happening are very slim. Um, I'm not saying that it can't happen because this is crypto. Um, and with uh, literally things being so economically turbulent, anything can happen. But then I do think that the chances for that are quite slim. I do realize that your data is saying that. And obviously your data might supersede obviously uh, technical charts but then um again i just i just think that with all of this manipulation and and everything which which literally is occurring you can clearly see this from the charts the way that if you look on the hour when you look on the hour when literally bitcoin pumps it's literally bitcoin litecoin ethereum and bitcoin cash that all move together some of the other uh, smaller cryptos um like eos uh digibyte they're not so much as they're not so much affected but literally the four uh ethereum litecoin bitcoin and bitcoin cash they literally move in tandem it's not it's not people that are just buying these up all at all within the same hour and literally this this massive volume coming in it's it, it, it it's nothing but manipulation and i guess my second question is is that with this clear manipulation is it fair to say that we should be concentrating on more of a smaller time frame than a longer time frame? Yeah, Nathan, thank you for those uh, two questions. So the first question was what Nathan explained there. He talks about all these moving averages. So those are all resistance lines. And remember what I said weeks and weeks ago, I said that we are going to break these resistance lines. It's going to be a magical event, something that's going to catch everybody off guard. It's very difficult for me to come here and say to you that we're going to break those indicators because Nathan is correct, guys. If you look at all technical indicators, it's impossible to break those, especially on such a, a big move up where you have indicator after indicator, resistance, resistance, resistance. And goodness me, this one here, the Python Z axis, this one, that's, that's a humongous indicator to break. It's literally impossible. I'm just here to tell you what my data is showing. Nobody in the world has got the data that we have. And this is what I'm starting to see now. In 2017, I became financially free, Wendy and I. What did I do? I had my algorithm and I decided to follow my algorithm. Many people in the world at that point were pointing to drops and big, massive destruction of cryptos. What did we do? I just decided and I said, I'm going to follow my algorithm because it worked. I tested it in the stock market, trading Apple, and I was stunned. I suddenly had an advantage above everybody else, trading Apple. And in 2017 is where we became financially free, when, you know, where we had these massive spikes. I see something similar now. I, I can only tell you what I see, but I am giving you a warning as well. What I see in my data is a break of all these indicators breaking upwards with very strong convincing ability in cryptos. Litecoin does it first.